What's up everybody? Brett here, and we are back today playing some more Stone Shard. I thought I would help you guys out, let you skip all the boring walking around and stuff. We did level though, as I promised I think at the end of the last episode, and I decided to save our skill points so that way we could talk through it and do it together. I took another contract, probably the last contract we're going to take in this particular area, before moving on to the next city of, I think, Manshire is what it's called. And trying to do some new type of contracts. Um, yeah, I just wanted to make sure I was as strong as I could be before uh, we delved into a new city and potentially new and much more dangerous quests. Um, we're pretty well stocked here in terms of what we need to finish this contract. We're basically just in here trying to kill a bandit leader. Uh, I enchanted our male coif, mostly because I'm running out of space to put stuff. And it gave us dodge chance and energy restoration. Not terrible. Not terrible. Uh, but let's go ahead and level up our character. So we've got two of these attribute points to spend. And I've decided to put one... Actually, I've decided to put both of them in strength once again. So why? It's how much damage we do. It's how strong our crits are. And it's, more importantly, how much we block. So I want to block as much as possible because our blocks really... They trigger everything that we do. And if we come into here, we look at our shield techniques, they all revolve around blocking. So we've got nothing but passives left in the shield uh, skill tree. Uh, the two at the bottom of the rung, embodiment of resilience. Each fully blocked attack replenishes 3% max energy. That's pretty cool. Um, but it also has the bottom a passive bonus minus 5% damage taken and minus 5% cooldowns duration for the skill tree, which is pretty cool. And then this one, Last Bastion. If your current health is less than 35%, each attack you receive has a chance to activate Raise Shield. Increases your chance by 3% for each missing percent of max health under 35%. Okay. Um, I don't know what the base chance is, which kind of sucks. Um, but Raise Shield is this ability here, which gives us huge block chance, block power, all that good stuff. Um, I think they're both awesome. I'm going to go for Last Bastion here. I think it's overall probably the most powerful spell here. It also gives us Fortitude, which if we go here into our stats, we can look at exactly what Fortitude does. I should probably know this already, but there's so many stats in this game. I've just kind of mostly ignored them. Reduces duration of negative status effects you receive. So that's pretty cool. Just overall making us a little bit healthier and tankier. And the next time we're going to pick up Embodiment of Resilience. Uh, even if it's only just for the minus 5% damage taken. Uh, the 3% max energy regeneration is pretty sweet as well though. Uh, I definitely see kind of both sides there. Uh, but all we want to do is block. That's all I want to do. So we're, we're pretty damn strong is what I feel like right now. Our inventory is pretty full. I don't know if we're going to be picking up stuff like deer hides. Uh, metal ingots or iron ingots though. We will certainly pick up. And I just figured, you know, I'd bring you guys in on a fun run. We're fighting bandits, but they seem to be a little bit stronger than normal. They've, they're like a higher quality of dude, man catchers. Not just your simple guys with bludgeons. Or cudgels. We fought some dudes already that had real weapons. Unfortunately, no good drops, though. Alright, we'll get that block. The first outside before we came in, there were four guys waiting. Okay, there's another dude. And then once we came in through the front door, there were three guys sitting there. So it's been non-stop action since I started. Unfortunate fumble. We're gonna get the charge. We're gonna be bleeding. We are well prepared, though. We have bandages. I actually don't know how bleeding functions if you don't get rid of it. Let's also just use a salve here. I'm anticipating there might be another guy. Could probably play as if there is. I'm not going to open that door. There we go. Double traps. Get the hell out of here, game. If we just stepped there, that could have just ended the entire run. Yeah, we're not messing with that. An enchantment scroll, very cool. I mean, we could consider enchanting something else like our shield, perhaps. Something that we know we're going to hold on to for a while. Um, maybe one of our rings. But I will use it. 
The Fang Amulet might be a good one, too. Hmm. I kind of like all of these. Our shield, I'm hoping to get something better at some point. A common amulet, common ring. I mean, all of our stuff is pretty damn common. Whatever. Let's let's buff this. Frost resistance and plus eight energy. Okay, plus eight energy is nothing to sneeze at. Let's see our hunger and thirst. How are we doing? We're okay. Need some of that. All right. Now let's go. Let's leave this dead end and come over here. We're pretty much healed up at this point. And look, traps right there. All right. Let's not step on that. We have to move at a slightly awkward angle. This guy can't charge us. So instead of trying to be super defensive, we're going to be more offensive. We got lucky and got a crit there. Another bleed, eh? Okay, we'll treat it. I feel like I'm getting a little unlucky with the bleeds, but perhaps that's just kind of the, the strength of that weapon. And all of our fireballs hit the front door. Alright, a crit. That was a heck of a lot of damage. We don't really have to run from this guy, but as you can see, we regenerate health and energy. We draw him further back from that corridor where there may even be more guys coming. Alright, let's heal, let's heal up. We're missing a, a pretty big chunk of HP right now. Okay, we'll advance. The guys came from the top, so I'm going to come investigate down here. I don't need mugs and cups. We'd love to see a little bit more food, perhaps. Okay, we definitely... Okay, we can see one, two guys. Get in front of the door. And let's back up. Three guys is quite a bit. But had you seen what I was doing before I started recording, you would have seen that I am like a super tank now. Uh, if, as long as I pop defensive stance and ray shield at the correct times, it is very difficult for just about anybody to hit me. This guy though, we're just going to kill him. We're going to get defensive stance active. Nice. And we get the, uh, the shield bash. And them all stepping in the fire and setting themselves on fire is pretty awesome. So we can go ahead and drink some water there. Those crowns. I don't need a bunch of trashy spike clubs. Okay, an archer. Of course. At least it wasn't a double trap. See how close we can get to this guy before he's able to riddle me with holes. Very good. We'll do a little bit of a perception check, even though it's a little late. I don't know if there was a good time to check for traps when we entered the room. Prudence. Increased... I haven't seen this one before. Increased dodge chance... Reduction in noise produced. Our lockpick and disarming is up, and so is our vision and stealth. Very interesting. I haven't seen that yet. Moose hide, pretty valuable stuff. I mean, there's stuff we could pick up if we were to feng shui our, our stuff a little bit. Um, I am already using the, uh, the weapon trick. I'm holding a couple cudgels. Which I may end up tossing because they're really not valuable at all. Uh, beats are a great pickup. Manchar Fortified is also fine. It's worth a good bit for the right people. Let's go ahead and roll out. Let's. I want to clear every floor if I can. Maximum experience and maximum loot. The crowns aren't even really the prize. Wait, you not pick that up? Come on, man. Alright, we gotta come up here. 
about to say, let's not step on any traps, please. Yeah, it's a dead end. There seem to be a little bit more traps in this area than we're accustomed to. That's my third iron ingot, and we are pretty damn full. This, any of these, like, weak wooden weapons are pretty much trash. They're not going to be worth really anything. So I've got no problem in tossing them, uh, sort of preemptively. Hunger, sure. Eat that. And eat that as well. I'm gonna walk past that bow, everything else. Alright, second floor. Alright, they gave us some challenges right off the bat. But, the door's closed, which I'm happy about. And we triggered heroism. Let's really hope this guy doesn't cause us to bleed. Because like I said, I'm not even really sure what our counter to that is. How do you how do you get rid of bleeding? I don't know. Other than using bandages and rags. Uh, of which we have no more. Would we bleed to death? Could we outpace with healing? I, I don't know. Excellent crits. Ooh, Falchion's a pretty valuable sword if it's in good condition. Usually sells around 60 or so. Yeah, it's not terrible. It's a little beat up. And this, we picked up some brandy. Some much more expensive alcohol. Huh. We've got a ton of alcohol right now. Could stock up a liquor store. Probably don't need these spirits. I'm just going to preemptively toss them. Alright, we got a guy with a shield. A henchman. Okay. Just back up. This is why we have magic. Best case scenario, we set them on fire. Yep, let him keep using his energy. Trying to protect themselves from stuff we're not even, you know, doing to damage him. And now he's on fire. We brought him down to 26% HP before the battle even starts. And let's hit him with that. Before he gets a chance to use any of his abilities. And a round shield, which is basically what we're using. Uh, maybe his... His... Not damaged. That would be nice. Okay. Not sure what exactly the difference is. Oh, it's, it is damaged. It's, it's pretty well damaged. Wouldn't be surprised to see another guy pop up. From nearby, wow, two deer hides from one barrel. I saw that food. Where'd it go? Did you guys see that too? Because I could have sworn I saw like a tomato fly. Well, did we pick it up somehow and I didn't even notice? It didn't make the normal picking up sound. Alright, we're in good shape. More lock picking needs to be done, though. Alright, our first chest. Ooh, we failed. God dang it, we failed. We failed to pick the lock. That sucks. And now we have no more lock picks. Rough. Alright. That feels bad. We can still basically batter down any door we come to. Um, it does damage our weapon though. 
So in those instances, I would recommend using like your trash weapons and saving your good weapons for the actual fight. Maybe we'll get lucky and pick up some more lock picks. Um, I've in the tutorial I've attacked chests before and had them still drop loot. So that's why I attacked them. I was hoping it would still drop something. But it did not. Alright, no fire. I want to play very safe with this guy. I don't want to get bleeding calls to me if I can help it. Alright, we're going to pop that. We're going to go super defensive. Alright, he hit me, but... I'm okay. Got mead. Don't need it. Give me that potato, though. So one thing I like fighting in the human dungeons. At least they give you good edible stuff. Potato's good for 15 days. This will spoil. But wow, look at the uh, the hunger. Go ahead and drink. An enchantment scroll and an identification scroll. Very cool. As I did before though, I might just go ahead and use that enchantment scroll on my other ring. Shock resistance, health restoration, okay. Make sure there's no big traps here. So we're looking for a boss. Will not be a goon. We know we're safe when the door's closed. I've yet to see any NPC in this game open a door. Let's take it slow. A sidekick. Alright, I can see several guys. A henchman. Here's the thing. I see no good reason to let them get out of here when I've got them in this choke point. Daze him. So he can't use any type of axe ability. Although it looks like he probably already has. Alright, next guy steps up. 55 damage. And in the choke points, we are king. Whether that's all of them, I don't know. I kind of want to back up and heal. For all I know, the boss is like on his way. I can afford to be a little bit hungry. Alright. Because I've got awesome food here. And I'm just going to go ahead and eat that, that turkey leg. Give us a little bit of a uh, satiation. That's a word, I don't know. Hope for something good in these cupboards. A new treaty. Alright, old shirt, linen shirt. Nah. Our gear is actually getting quite destroyed. And I'm not super rich. To repair all this stuff is going to cost me a small fortune. Happy we were able to get the drop on this guy, too. Traps. Our perception is pretty low. It's something I'm wondering whether or not I should tweak whenever we level up. 
But I think if we just want to plain old get stronger, we had to pump strength. Once again, the nightstand. I'm hoping something comes out of it. Yeah, that's a big no. Okay, these things are trash. We're going to toss them. Make some room in our inventory. Little perception check. That's useful. If I don't need it, I'll just throw it away. Rabbit pelt, whatever. It's a little bit valuable. So is the deer antlers. Yeah, I was really hoping to get... Militia club. Militia club, I think, might be worth something. I was really hoping to get another lockpick. Just to get lucky. Look at all the chests we've had to pass. Damn. Just a couple fails in a row. Force him to come closer to us so we could beat the crap out of him. And it looks like there's going to be... Okay, maybe not. I was going to say, maybe we're going to another even deeper tier. So I'm tempted to pick up this rag because I... The rag is the only way we have now to stop bleeding. Oh, these dudes are... Oh, they're like destroying a bed to get to me. Double sidekick, eh? Alright, set them on fire. Let's get our defensive stance up, raise our shield, and let's make sure they don't use any type of uh, special attack on us. Hopefully, we were going to daze them. Alright, big blocks for us. Raise our shield again. Man, this guy does not take a lot of damage. And we're losing. Okay, second wind comes in. And I think we just hit him for 74 damage, which is crazy. Let's heal. But wow, wow, wow. Apply healing self to that. That was nuts. Oaken shield, I think, is worse, yes. Heavy club might be worth a little bit of something. Do we eat a potato? Eat it. Militia club is, yeah, it's a decently expensive thing. Not fighting that in the choke point could have been disastrous. Second wind also probably saved us. We weren't doing like any damage to him and he was hitting us pretty damn hard. Even at the end there though. That was a pretty lucky attack. Okay, we've got a guy. Definitely a weak guy. I don't know what's all up with all this, like, missing we're doing. Is our weapon destroyed? It is. That's not good. Um, let's switch it out. Yeah, that's way better than what we were currently using. And I think we found Man the Undying. And we're gonna kite him. As best we can. We'll get into this corner. Pop that. I do want to get the days off. Because he's a dagger user. Which means most of his damage is going to come from all of these different actives. Yeah, we, I mean, we absolutely demolished him. That was fun. 
Toss that. Toss this. Traveling dagger, I think, is worth a little bit. And then the dirk. I don't know if I've seen a dirk quite yet. Yeah, it's just a way more expensive dagger. Awesome. And he dropped a purse as well. Go ahead and merge. Toss the purse. Okay. Make sure we're in the correct stance. I didn't know this guy was there until just a second ago. Yet there he is. Um, I think we probably could also eat some more food. Yeah. Pop that. And let's pick up another one of these. Actually, that one's pretty totaled. And that's just worth almost nothing. Okay. Overthinking this a little bit. But let's just try and get to the end here. All we have to do now is claim the reward, make it out of here alive, which I'm a little worried because I advanced and we're not all that healed up. Okay, now we're good though. But sadly, no way whatsoever. I don't need this extra splint either. No way whatsoever to pick this lock. I just keep hoping to find one that's in a little bit better shape than the one I'm currently using. at all. Maybe it's something they changed recently? I don't know. But I could have sworn I attacked it like three times in the tutorial and I got something every single time. Now I'm attacking chess and I'm getting nothing. So either I got very lucky before or something's changed or because it was the tutorial maybe they didn't want you to miss out on any loot so they made that like an option. I don't want to overthink it too much but Yeah, I'll pick the splint back up as just a useful thing. But now we're good to get out of here and go get our reward. Alright, well, let's also attack. I mean, we might as well attack this. I mean, if we go like 0 for 4, I'm just going to have to assume that you never get anything from attacking chess. We could always have come back here with another series of lock picks and a crowbar, perhaps. That sounds like a lot of work. That's not what I wanted to do today. What I wanted to do today was clear a nice easy dungeon, get paid, and then perhaps start on an adventure to Manshire. There's lots of good loot in here though. We could come back and basically refill up. Where are we headed? Here? Alright. We got a decent amount of experience from this dungeon, a thousand. Kind of a nice little jumping off point for our adventure. I would hope to level one more time before we really start doing quests in the new city. Because I just have to imagine they're going to be perhaps even exponentially harder than they were before. Let's take the safe road up. All right. Come here. Go here. Okay, so where we are now, we went here and here. So all I have to do now is go two to the left. Okay, looks like we got some enemies. Okay, well, I don't want to fight an entire wolf pack. So we're going to choose to fight the humans. Let's get the heck out of here.
something that we just did that was kind of important. We put this guy between us and the wolves. So if the wolves do keep chasing, they're more likely to attack him, I do believe. Alright, now we turn and fight. A lot of good damage. And he is gone. A copper ring for our troubles. Not worth much. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. Is something still following me? Wolf. At least one wolf. Well, I'm hurt. So I'm just going to continue to kite. Every 10 steps we take is 7 more HP. I think it's 10. Unless that number changes with some other variable because it doesn't appear to be happening every 10. It seems to be a little bit more than that. I'll fight one wolf. That's that's not a problem. Alright, wolf. That's what you wanted. This is worth literally nothing. Alright, let's get out of here. It would suck pretty bad to die on the road back to the village. So I really just want to get there as quick as possible. Wait, wait, wait. Did I... Guys, I do this all the time. I feel like somehow I did it... Did I go the wrong way? Am I directly below Osbrook? I don't know how I do that. I feel like I'm pretty good with directions, but somehow I just keep misfiguring. I think it's the talking. Talking messes me up. How in the heck did I get this lost? I'm on a straight up northern road right now. Oh, I was going the right way. God dang it. Was 100% going the right way. Go back south. We're right here right now. I don't know why I wasn't expecting that road. Forgive me. I really just, I, I kind of get in this mode where I just want to hurry up and get it over with. Because I just want to get back to town. I wish there was some sort of like fast traveling in this game. And of course there's literally three guys. A sidekick, they got a mage, a rebel as they call him. But a dude that can shoot me with fireballs. Okay. If I'm here now, I'm going here. To here. Am I back in the village? Yes. Alright. Done with all that. Show me your goods. Now let's just get back into town. And uh, sell what we can. He still has 600. Now, we need to repair stuff. This is going to be unbelievably expensive. Ow, that hurt. Okay, we're broke. We are pretty damn broke. Just from repairing our gear. We actually appear to have gone somewhat negative at this point. That axe actually isn't all that bad either. We could have considered perhaps keeping it. We're going to sell off the drinks. And to get our armor repaired, we got to go to a leather worker. Everything else though looking good. Come here, drink, fill the water skin. Come up here and let's get our gold first. Get that contract done with.
Nice. And that was 500 even. Pretty sweet. Stolen Grimoire. I feel like we did that already. Just walk away. So after we repair our armor, are we going to have more than we started with? Perhaps not. The prices here are great for this. I mean, sort of. We're, we're sort of coming out ahead here. I'm not going to complain too much. Let's pick up some bread. Pick up an apple. A little bit of extra food. And let's go make sure we repair our gear. And I want to make sure I pick up some bandages too. While we're here. And then we're going to start making the long journey down to Manshire. Probably in the next episode though. Because this took a long time. Alright, all of our gear is repaired. That's a sweet set of armor there that I can't afford. I've got more splints than I know what to do with. Alright, let's get out of here. And go pick up some bandages. And then we'll go and save today's game. Just straight up a dungeon. But in the next episode, guys, look for us to travel. Halfway across the map. To a brand new city. And when I say that out loud, it makes me want to stock up just a little bit more than I currently am. I feel like I'd like to have another set of bandages. Identification scroll. I don't perhaps need that, but this is not the guy to sell it to. Yeah, let's go save the game. Look on the map where we need to go. We're here. We need to go. We could follow the road all the way to Manshire. Um, but I feel like if we're going to do it, we should probably just, like, stop by a couple points of interest first. Like, we could come down here, follow the road, and kind of dip off and, and investigate those places, and then end the episode in Manshire. That wouldn't be a bad idea, I think. But it's a long journey. As you've seen, just us getting back to town can be kind of perilous if we run into the wrong group at the wrong time. But we're well stocked. We've got gold. That's not where I wanted to go. We've got gold. Our gear is repaired and in good shape. How much are we actually sitting with? 970? Not bad. I wish we had better armor. We just don't. Alright. And let's go to sleep. And we have an extra set of lockpicks. Let's not forget to put that into our inventory. So, very good. Guys, thank you so much for watching. My name is Brett. My channel is Good Talk Gaming. Hope you all enjoyed today's video. Look forward to some more adventures in the next one. And take care, guys.